Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own Debian live Linux distribution with ease. In about 10 minutes and only five scripts. Debian is one of the most, or oh, one of the oldest ones and the most respected Linux distributions out there. And uh, it's going to be the base for a lot of distribution as well. About a couple of years ago, I put a project in, in um, GitHub. This is actually using the Dev Bootstrap. And there's actually a video on the internet to detail uh, in 10 minutes and with all the explanation on how to build your own uh, live CD. This is using Oracle VirtualBox. On top of that, I download the version of Bux Ubuntu. That's what I'm running on. And right now, I have the more port map, so I'm SSH into the box. Uh, this box is actually the same latest version of the X Ubuntu. And uh, it's running Bash um, in a virtual environment. I'm on the home Dinos directory, uh, just a regular user directory. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this should take really, really long. The first thing that we have to do is go to the repository Dinos, 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 uh, Dinos, OS. And there's um, Denos get started, which is going to be a shell script. Um, this is the Denos get started at the bottom. I can go to the raw version of the text, which as you can see is just a bunch of W gets. I can copy the URL. Let's go ahead and uh, in the folder that we're going to be working on. And then click on the directory by Denos. Uh, directory by to W get. I pull the raw file, which is a shell script. Shemot 755 on Denos get started. Which is actually the same file, it's just a bunch of W gets. You run it. And basically what it does is just connects to GitHub via W get and gets everything it needs to run the build of the operating system. The scripts are pretty self-explanatory, going from 0 01 to 0 05. So 0 01 is the one it it runs first. Basically, uh, what you do is uh, sudo uh, 0 01. And let's go ahead and run the prereqs. It's asking me the permissions for the users. So uh, executing just app update on all the dependencies. I've run this before, so pretty much you will see that everything is being completed and done. So nothing's going to be new here. It's indicating me right here that I'm ready to execute the second second script, which actually is the, the bootstrap. I want to execute the, the bootstrap as a regular user, and what it does is actually creates the minimal version of Linux. Just like if you do Linux from scratch, it's going to go ahead and get a like the baby version. You may be wondering if it's the what, what is first, the chicken or the egg. Basically, it does it creates a baby version of the distribution destination you want to be building on top, and it downloads and uses that one as a foundation to build the real operating system. So. That's exactly what it's doing. It's actually going to the Debian repositories. It's going to actually retrieve those releases. And if we go back and take a peek to what actually the file number one is, or actually number two, uh, the zero two, the bootstrap, uh, we can see what exactly is doing, which is actually the bootstrap. Uh, some change has been done in the new release. No linking to a specific kernel, just linking to a stable. So in that case, it really helps us because it goes there and downloads the stable version of Debian. You can see the libraries belong just like the operating system, just like the baby version, like you do uh, Linux from scratch. In that case, you have to compile yourself. In this case, it will help you and it will do the, some legwork for you. Once you finish, so make your root into that environment, and then you have the opportunity to run a script number three, which is the one actually is going to give you the opportunity for the minimum, uh, there's one script that actually is going to be with no extensions. There's some other scripts on 03 that uh, have X, like XFCE. Uh, some of those used to have KDE, GNOME, um, LXQT, uh, and uh, even Openbox. Uh, I really like the one with Mate, or and this is really, really very lean. Now we're in the Chirrut system, so as you can see, we can see the three scripts. I want to run the minimum, which is going to be 0 3, uh, and uh, give it a shot. Just with that, um, it's going to do take in the image that we created and from that use the, the foundation to start doing the same thing. When they're in final download from Debian, 
everything that is needed to actually build our new kernel. It's going to take a little bit of time. Um, one of the things that uh, I include in this release in the zero tree in apply for all the scripts was the fact to add a, an extra freebie. It's not enabled by default, but you can enable. If you happen to want to use and add another user, like in this case, live users with live password, just uncomment the user app. I did not uncomment it because let's make things secure. Only if you wanted to explicit open things, go there in your script zero three, uncomment those two lines, it will create a user, in this case, named live, and assign the password live as a live user, live live. Uh, if it's not necessary, <clears throat> I just leave it commented right here. So you don't have to even worry about that. This is something, uh, depending on your use case for your live distribution, whether you're going to be having as a um, camera system or a internet cafe or a video promotion, you know, remote desktop connection or potentially just like a training class for everybody. You potentially can include those things depending on all the packages that you might want to add. Uh, that will be an option, but you have to open it. Uh, some other things were included as well. I think it's part of the distribu what every distribution should have. It's going to be like the PS3, HTOP, NMAP, WGET, and Git. That's really handy, and I really think every Linux distribution should have. There might be some other ones. <clears throat> Feel free to comment, and we can actually put into the main repository, but again, this is a live distribution trying to package everything under what used to be the Nopix, the king of the live CDs, under 600 megs maybe, under a gig, you have one gig drive, and if you got more, you, you can do more, of course, but uh, just recently performed uh, Oracle Linux installation, it took about almost five and a half gigs. So it's a big gap between having something compressed to about 500 megs to five gigs. It's a big gap in data and everything, so, and right now, so we're running the base distribution at the bare minimum, within some extent, with some packages. <coughs> no, no, it's at this time, it's going to be running the command line. This is actually recording in real time. And it's just about to be done here to actually getting everything ready. Uh, it's going to ask us about the language, part of the, of the locales that actually is doing on the script. And once it finishes it up, it's going to ask us for the root password. Here comes the language. I want to select the file in English, or number one. Uh, continue. And the last thing it's going to ask me is going to ask me for the root password. I need to type it twice. If for some reason you have a mistake to <coughs> pass finger the password, just type password again. You can change it. So I change the password. I'm done with the script. Script number four is the next one. I can run the make squash file system. It's to start compressing and getting everything together. As you can see, the size is not really that that long. This is probably one of the most lengthy process, depending on your bandwidth downloading and on the compilation. And now it's actually trying to render this uh, uh, image in one file. Once we get it ready, we're going to package ultimately and put it to the ISO. Another thing that I get added into this release was actually the introduction of uh, uh, a small little component in the configuration file, which I thought it would be handy. Um, one of the things is like adding the distro hostname. So eventually, if you want to call your hostname, you can specify within the distribution the hostname of that, and uh, it can be actually added, added at the build, at the runtime and build to the distribution. Um, it's still continue building right here. Um, 13, 14% of the distribution. And then once once it completed, um, you should be able to go ahead and uh, export it on the script number five. Sometimes it seems like the first 20, 25% takes a little longer than the, than the rest, but it uh, seems like on the second part of the script, he goes a lot faster. I don't know why. It's maybe <clears throat> the amount of packages or libraries. But as soon as we, we go to the 30, 40%, you see it start picking some speed from 30 over to 60 real quick. Uh, I don't know why this part of the process takes and eventually just jump directly 79%, 80, 87. 
and we're just about done. So right here, we can just run the last script, which is actually creating and compiling the ISO is being created. I can approve this download. Let me go ahead and uh, have any ISO previously so I want to just go ahead and download copy from that one the zero three the one just created uh, the one that was created is actually one zero that's the version name that's what I have. paste it uh, here So I'm going to copy to the antenna 01, and that's good. Right here on VirtualBox, let's map the new antenna 01 into the intrusive file. The new was modified, which is just right now this one. And should be ready to start. Let's start the Operating system is going to be in bridge mode, so it's going to have connectivity. It's going to give us the name of the distribution. It's going to have found the latest kernel, which is the latest kernel in, in this case for, for the Debian distribution. We can see it's booting. It should be booting in, in command line only. I'm going to change the view to record 150% uh, of the screen. You can see clearly it says the host name correctly. How the user root with the, with the password we set up. <coughs> we have a uh, Screen fetch is running Debian bash. Uh, it's taking only 42 megs of RAM, very little. We have wget, we have CRL, we have git. Um, it's uh, at each top, everything we install. Have any users? Of course, if you come into the users, you will create a user life. That's not a problem. And uh, Up, get up, obey. It's working. It's fully working. <clears throat> In this all created um, distribution, that is only take us about three hundred and sixty max. Everything compressed. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, I'm updating also the Dev One OS. The one is actually without System D. Catch up on the next videos. I want to put the reference for the previous videos. Enjoy the video and enjoy Linux. Have a great, great day. Thank you.